Hello fellow crafters. Today we are going to use counterculture DIY casting resin. I do like this resin. Uh, counterculture DIY resin is is one of my favorites. I have a couple of different ones that I like. So, um, in order to get through this video, I have sped it up, and as you can see, I'm doing voiceover so that um, this video isn't that long. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a pink rose pyramid with no lights so there will not be any lights going in this one I have lots of other ones that I do put lights in but this particular one there are no lights I am going to mix my resin one time right here and show you how I mix it um, it is equal parts resin to hardener I turn on my heat gun and I blow it at the container while I'm mixing the resin. This will be the only time I'm going to show this. Uh, any other time um, that I do a layer, I'm already going to have my resin um, ready to go and I won't be showing that on this video. If you would like to see other ways to mix resin, please take a look at a couple of my other videos. If you like what you see in my videos, please um, like and subscribe um, and leave me some comments. I always mix my resin for five minutes. I do have a uh, timer right there, my dice timer, that I always religiously use. Um, doesn't matter if the resin says three minutes or uh, you know, 10 minutes, I mix it for five. If it said 10 minutes, I would mix it for 10, but it says, if it says three, I still mix it for five, just so you guys know. I'm gonna, again, try to get through this video quickly for you. Um, I have music in the video. I have sped up the video. We have five layers on this pyramid, so it is not the full pyramid, so it's not going to be all the way to the top of the mold. So this is a, a shorter pyramid, um, one of my first pyramids, by the way, and it turned out um, pretty good. So. But I hope you guys enjoy. I love bringing you guys these videos and hopefully somebody gets some type of knowledge off of them because that is what I'm here for. I truly would like to help as many people as I can um, with whatever I can. So I do a lot of different craft crafts. <laughs> so um, I just would like you know to help people out when I find something that works I'd like to let people know that it works for me so enjoy hope you enjoy the music I will break in a little bit later and explain a couple of things to you um, and here we go thanks guys bye
Okay, so on the swirls that I'm doing right here, um, I did these in uh, increments, like one hour increments. So the first time I did it, um, they kind of dispersed. So um, that's why I did it again that an hour later. And that time was a little bit better. But the third time, an hour later, is whenever I got the best swirl. So I have also have um, learned that if you take a toothpick and you put your paint on the toothpick long ways, you can get um, a better looking uh, tail and swirl. When you're swirling, you could get a better looking um, after effect so this is definitely something that um, is gets better with practice so I just wanted to throw that in there in case you guys weren't understanding um, where I was putting in an hour later an hour later all right um, back to the video thanks for watching Okay, so the, the part we all love to see, the unveiling. I love demolding these things because they just, you never know what you're going to get. <clears throat> so here we go. This was my first one, by the way. Da -da -da -da. Drum roll. Oh, I love doing this. It is so much fun. Looky there. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And clear. That resin is clear, clear, clear. So I'm also going to post some close-ups um, at the end of the at the end of this movie not too bad for being my first one I like let me know what you guys think uh, let me know if you like it let me know what I could do different 
just let me know and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel